Hello everyone. It's been a good day. I, uh, well, let it speak for itself. I got the first beam completed for the flight engineer station. It's just hanging on there by uh, scaffolding wire. The good news is, is everything makes sense. I like that angle coming off the base of the main panel to about that black line on the edge of that circle. That makes sense. Uh, over the, on the other side is going to be a whole mess of stuff to figure out. I have moved everything up considerably. I'd say at least three inches. I think the canopy needs to be straightened out. We'll finalize that. We're getting there. We're getting that beam up in there is really important. Let's go around the other side. Now, in terms of how far this beam projects beyond that panel, it's kind of a mystery. My guy got in there as good as he can, but it's definitely, it's more than in the ballpark. It's, You know, it's, it's, it's right where it needs to be because my theory is, is this angle, which is true to the original. That was one angle I was able to copy and there's a bracket that starts here and then expands a little bit. And then I theorize, I strongly theorize that based on my current placement, which I feel is a little bit too far aft that this will intersect with bulkhead 2.0. If it doesn't, it's fine because as you guys know, the, um, the, the dual flight engineer station was something that was an afterthought in terms of the overall B36 design. But this, I like this angle, it kind of flows with the fuselage. So this will definitely be something that will tie together elegantly. Eloquent, that's a good word. I think y'all know what I mean. But. I believe it's a solid dimension I could get was four inches. So this that kind of goes on the, there's a line you can't see it, but once again, because of the depth of these panels, it's really hard. But I do I do like that. I, I feel really good about the work I got done today. You can imagine if there's glazing here, trying to get a, a camera back into here is is tough work. But the uh, the effort that I get from my friend is definitely appreciated and commendable. Without him, I would be nothing. So let's go on the inside and have a look at what's going on in there. Now mind you, I'm just, yeah, tight fit. I'm just scratching the paint on this thing. Well, I dent the fender today, but we still got a long way to go until the entire aft end of this flight deck is whatever you want to call it. I think that this right here, well, I, I do know that right here is going to be the edge of the panel that sticks up there. There's a big casing that encapsulates the back of it, which I think is going to, I left enough room. I can chop this off, but I think it's going to go about right there or there. So this would probably be the imaginary line, which it's been a while since I climbed into a B36, but this is about the space that you have because there's a wall here and you climb up and you squeeze in here onto the flight deck and then you're there. Of course, the seat is sitting here, but this, this placement isn't true yet. I just, I don't have enough room on my flight deck to uh, put it where I want it, but it's very tight. Um, I think guy's got just enough room for his kneecaps to go in that area. But, oh. let's see. These holes, these aren't lighting cuts or anything. Those are for a line of circuit breakers that are gonna go lengthwise. And they go from, I think, I think here, they're side by side pretty much all the way across to the end. So you're gonna have this curved piece here, which is like a guard. I think it's probably made out of plastic. 
and then you're gonna have about two inches and there's gonna be a lip and there's just gonna be a line of circuit breakers, which is gonna be a hoot. Um, and then this area here and this area here between these areas is where the engineer's throttle quadrant is gonna be. And there's gonna be a beam here and here. It's 18 and 1 8, I believe, inch from center to center. And then it's gonna go back here. And then there's gonna be another beam sort of identical to this, which if it was hard to get here, it's impossible to get here. I have a rough shape, but it's essentially the same thing. So it's gonna go back here and then there's gonna be a shelf off the back of that beam where there's gonna be shock mounts. Luckily, I've got an original panel. I know exactly where those, those shelves and everything's gonna be, so that'll be nice. And then, of course, this huge panel right here, and then another panel here. And then there's gonna be a leg, at least one leg, and then everything's finished in with really nice fairings. And, under here is where the big um, six engine synchronizer lives. It's a, what that thing does is um, your, uh, on your, your console, the pilot can adjust the RPM, which is the overall RPM of the six engines, and his gauge is right there. And what that does is that prop synchronizer keeps all the props turning at the exact same RPM, because if not, you would have six different, you know, engine sounds and it would, it would drive the crew insane. It would be just terrible. So I know that's one of the reasons I'm sure that there's a, uh, a mechanical or a, a, an aerodynamic reason, but, um, that's the one thing I have read. So that's what that does. The big synchronizer. And I'm probably not going to modern, I'm sorry, model that synchronizer because it's, it's, it's huge. It's a big, Bah! <laughs> For lack of better words. But we are... We have laid the foundation. Uh, tonight, I'm going to upload about a 20-minute video of me making this joint. For all you guys who can't get enough. Uh, I hope to get that secondary beam or the aft beam made tomorrow and then get these guys done. But we'll see. But all right, I just want to say welcome to my new subscribers and thank you guys for your support, your comments and all that stuff. Y'all make this job fun. I'll see you next time.